Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Hump Brothers Pizza Chevy from 2011. So always take a look at the box. As you can see, you got the generic Kevin Harvick Incorporated box from back then. Kevin Harvick Incorporated, Camping World Truck Series, Nationwide Series. Render the car right there, Action Racing Collectibles, Kevin Harvick, Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Got another render of the car back here. Kevin Harvick Gang, got the truck and Nationwide Series logos again. Made a total of 706 of these things. 2011, and you of course have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. This is the first Kevin Harvick Hump Brothers Pizza diecast ever be produced. Might have been the very first Hump Brothers Pizza diecast in general, because they never made any of those like 70 cars or any of the early like petty cars. The only other car around this time I know they made is they made it was uh, Almondinger's Prelude to the Dream, like late model. That is a super rare die cast to find. Like, I, I do want it for, you know, this Humper the collection that I've started. But that one is super difficult to find. This is autographed by his fan club. So you do have this uh, Kevin Harvick fan club certificate of authenticity he came with with a Delana signature. So that's kind of neat. This might be one of those cars that was, like, only offered through his fan club. Like, you couldn't just buy this normally. Because I'm pretty sure every single one I've ever seen pop up on eBay is autographed. Like I said, this was, I believe, the did he did they join Harvick in 2010 or 2011? But this is definitely one of the first years they joined Harvick. And like I said, this is the only, the first time they ever made a die cast. Makes it one of the rarest Hump Brothers Pizza die cast. Really cool paint scheme. Because like I, I do love the more white with the green that they used to do. I wish maybe some of their modern cars would add a little bit more white back to them. I said Logano's this year is just the same green. Have to see if Logano ends up running a uh, red version of the paint scheme like Harvick has the last couple years. This thing was for uh, Kevin Harvick's daughter, but then they ran it last year for one of his final races. So It would definitely be cool for uh, Logano to get a red one. One of the races they're doing with Logano this year is New Hampshire's home track. So that would be kind of a fun time to just do like a red one. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's... Get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Hump Brothers Pizza. There you can see Kevin Harvick's signature. He always had a very interesting signature. Got Chevrolet Impala, number four, and no logo right there. Oh, wait, no, there's a Kevin Harvick Incorporated logo in the headlights. Forgot they used to be in the headlights, not right there where they are now. On the back, you have Hump Brothers Pizza. You got Tap Out and Safety Clean. In front of the rear wheel, you got really tiny logos for Budweiser, Miller Wicks Filters, Merit Pro, Sherman Williams, and Mac Tools. On the B post, you have Reem One Main Financial and Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Such tiny logos. Like, were they really that tiny on the real car? Because, like, look at that. You're not going to be able to read half the logos on this car. <laughs> Nothing on the C post. Got Kevin Harvick's name with the American flag. Got those kind of now retro contingency sponsors that said we don't really get any contingency sponsors anymore. We still get a few in, like, Truck and Xfinity, but not really. Back when they had a pull award logo with the beer sponsor. On the back, you have two Hunt Brothers Pizza logos. Got the Chevrolet Bowtie, number four, and Kevin Harvick Incorporated. And you have Hunt Brothers Pizza again on the deck lid. This is number 109. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. It wants to open. It does not. There we go. You got a big Hunt Brothers Pizza logo under there. There's the old engine detail if you want to see that. Back in an era where the Xfinity cars did have Full detailed Platinum Series releases. Take a look under the deck lid. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there. Roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Not a whole lot top of the car like this, like I said. Just another really cool older Hump Brothers cars. As you can probably tell by now, I've been getting a lot of these lately. <laughs> There's pretty much been a review of these every week or every couple weeks. So you should expect that by now. <laughs> but... We'll point out, yes, that is the same pizza box in every one of these videos. I actually had somebody ask me that if it was the same pizza box or I had different pizza boxes. That is just the same pizza box. I haven't had a reason to save a different pizza box yet. <laughs> I don't know. Eventually, I'll probably have to get another one. I, said, I do love Hump Brothers Pizza. They got really good pizza. I said for gas station pizza, because that's what they are. Like, it is really solid gas station pizza, surprisingly. <laughs> like, most people hear, like, gas station food, and they're just like, uh... But Hump Brothers Pizza is actually really good. It's probably my favorite of all the uh, gas station pizza brands. If you want this car, it is definitely, like I said, a little bit harder to get. It's one of the rare 
Hunt Brothers Pizza diecast. I was able to get a pretty good deal on it. I was surprised that I won this for what I wanted for on eBay. But then immediately somebody lists another one for like double what I paid on eBay like a couple days after this auction ends. That was kind of a weird thing, but whatever. Remember for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com and if you use the code BWAC, you get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Just go check that if you want anything. I think it's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Hump Brothers Pizza Chevy from 2011. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.